Uh, it's recording. Pacer, it's recording. Raw and uncut. Hi there, everyone. I'm joined here with my good friend, Pacer the dog. You may remember her from uh, Avery, Beering, Avery Brewing Co. Pacer IPA beer commercial that we made together, as well as other various hikes. Pacer evacuated from the Estes Park fire uh, yesterday. Uh, it's been going on, and thoughts out to all the families and people of whose lives are in danger, but their houses have burned down and all the trees and animals uh, in the Rocky Mountain National Park and that whole area, it's just been devastating. But Pacer got out safe and her mom did too and she's staying here with us. Today we're going to play a little song with you guys today. This is a new raw and uncut video, uh, not really running related content. I guess I'll talk about social media a bit. I thought I'd uh, lay down a little bit of an acoustic track here. I'm a little out of practice, but all right, so Pacer's being lazy today. You don't really want to get up. Don't even want to listen to this song. We'll only play part of the song then. Uh, so, it's a Sage original, unplugged acoustic version. I'm out of practice. I am falling for this feeling that throbs. I've had a burden place before What was broken by the time After promise to keep the peace Taken from my soul Till I get away from here You'll find yourself out there What is hiding in the dark Empty future of lost hearts Until I get away from here You will find yourself out there What is hiding in the dark Empty future of lost hearts And now you will see that I suffer on my own. All right, so Pacer was really bored uh, during that. She got an itch or something, I think. But uh, yeah, lazy days, lazy days uh, here. And I just wanted to do this video kind of just raw and uncut. And obviously, I'm not a musician or anything. I like to dabble around. Debova Musical Instruments, shout out to them for that custom green made acoustic guitar. You've also seen the mandolin. Uh, they'll be actual music video productions pretty soon, hopefully some intros here. But uh, yeah, just uh, one of the few songs that I actually wrote and composed and did all the words to, and the chord progression doesn't make sense. It's not logical musically. And uh, I hope that audio recording wasn't horrible, but you may have recognized it from some old workout videos where I've multi-tracked it in GarageBand uh, probably about 10 years ago. So this talk, uh, just briefly touching base, hope you guys are doing well. I want to be raw and uncut with you guys. Raw and uncut, the idea that you know, not everything in life is perfect. Not everything in your running uh, progression is perfect. You don't meet all your goals necessarily. Uh, and, you know, behind the social media bubble or the social media facade, we should say, that, you know, it's it's not all, it's, it's not reality sometimes. And I guess that's the, the whole point of this talk is that uh, we have these different things on social media, be it on YouTube, which I, I love this platform. I love social media. Um, and it's a great community on here. But at the same time, there are maybe some drawbacks or some perception changes because of stuff you see on social media. I'm not just talking about YouTube. I'm talking about the Instagram, the Facebook, the TikTok, uh, Twitter, even online message boards and things like that. It's not necessarily good reality and it's not necessarily maybe good for your running or my running. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to shoot, to, uh, bring it to you guys real uh, and be as honest as I can. Authentic, I think, is kind of a weird word to use because I think by default, these social media platforms make it so it's actually hard to be truly authentic by the way they're structured, right? So, you know, you don't see the full picture. And I want to show you guys the full picture of like my running and and things behind the scenes, kind of life, life stuff, real life stuff, hard life stuff on Pacer. It's a hard knock life. Um, <laughs> she's spoiled. Uh, but uh, Pacer's good. You work hard, don't you? You work hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but it's kind of the idea that, you know, people post about the best times of their day. Or like on Instagram, it's a literal and figurative filter. I say it's a it's a literal filter because you're manipulating the picture maybe, right? You got filters or you're like, I like to boost the contrast or boost the brightness. If I took a picture in low light, which I do a lot, or low light in here, um, make epic sunsets look more epic, right? It's not reality. It's not what your eye sees. It's what the camera filter saw. So that's one filter on something like Instagram. But it's also a figurative filter because you're filtering the best image of your day. It's not even an Insta, Insta image. It's not maybe, maybe you posted a picture and it's you're posting it right away, um, but then you're not enjoying life in the moment either. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's a throwback to earlier in the day or last week or two years ago when I took some epic trip to Chamonix and I was on one of the bigger glaciers that's now shrunken down. And you know, runners, I follow professional runners on social media a lot, other professional mountain ultra trail runners. And every picture, it's just, you go through the epic feed and it's just like, there's this constant uh, rainbow of, of beautiful, epic mountain shots and everyone's doing these epic mountain adventures. And you're like, is everyone always out there just absolutely crushing it? And a lot of times they are because they're pro athletes and they live in places like Chamonix or Boulder or someplace in beautiful mountains. But at the same time, maybe I'm sitting in here with Pacer all day on the couch in our 400 square foot, 39 square meter studio apartment because it's cold and dreary out and I'm not running in the epic mountains, but I might post a picture of doing that. So if you're scrolling through your feed constantly, you could get FOMO, fear on missing out, right? You see all these people and you're like, well, they're all racing in, in on the UTMB course or something, but maybe they're not. Maybe it's an old throwback picture from two years ago. Maybe they're sitting on the couch with their dog uh, and they're, you know, scrolling through the feed. So it's it's kind of deceptive in that regard. And I think it's great for inspiration. It's motivating. You dream of going to these places, crushing these big races, being out there on these trails or road marathon courses or big cities or something like that. But at the same time, you could be playing the comparison game. And it's not a, a fair game to play because it's not real life. It's not real life, right? Um, it's not what actually happened. It's this reality distortion field, so to speak. And so that's kind of my the, the things I like to talk about when it comes to social media, analyzing it. And again, you know, I've it's helped my career out a lot as a professional sponsored athlete with self-branding, with our coaching business at Sage Running, uh, with negotiating contracts with sponsors and doing, uh, you know, social media work for sponsors. Uh, it's it's been hugely beneficial. And, you know, believe me, I was one of the first people uh, when our school, we got uh, Facebook, our college got the Facebook, or I got a college email to join Facebook. It was very, very new, uh, you know, early 2004, and I got right on it. I got right on it. There were only like 10 schools on Facebook at the time. We jumped right on it right away. YouTube, same thing. Joined, uh, this YouTube channel's been going on for over 12 years, but I was on YouTube even before that. So basically right when it started. 12 years in the making, VO2 Max Productions here. Seen YouTube evolve over the years, especially with running related content. And I wanna thank some of you who've been along early for the ride on there, because it's it's been life-changing for me in a really great way, and I can meet a lot of you guys because of this whole YouTube community. But, you know, talking about the other social media, even getting on uh, TikTok and, and Twitter. I got, got on Twitter early. TikTok, I was a little late to the game. Snapchat, I never really made it. And I'm sure there's other social media that I'm not even on. But I'm talking about the major players here. But speaking of TikTok, speaking of TikTok, this afternoon at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S., 2 p.m. Mountain time here, 1 p.m. West Coast time in the U.S., we're doing an Instagram Live, joined by TikTok star Jordan uh, McMeans, we're going to talk about the new Rocket X shoe. I actually don't have the new colorway with it, but I'm going to hold it up, show it off. We're going to have that live on the Hoka One One Instagram channel. So if you're tuning in in, what, three, a little over three hours from right now, uh, you could see that live. But you could also see it archived on the Hoka One One Instagram TV. Uh, it should be archived on their stories or their Instagram TV link on uh, their Instagram. So be sure to check that out. Another hashtag sponsored hashtag plug for uh, my title sponsor really thankful for them but maybe share in the comments below you know what you see uh, with your attitude towards social media whether it's good or bad or it's you know taking time away from real life because it's it's a fine balance it's a lot like things in running where you could overdo it I think and it's great to have I don't I'm not going to shut down my Facebook even though I don't like that platform as much I'm not gonna I love this YouTube channel but I'm not 
going to vlog probably every day, right? I don't, I don't want to do videos every day. I don't like being always tied up into that. And, uh, you know, maybe that's just me being lazy, but it's also reality of how I feel, what I'm passionate about, and wanting to spend quality time with loved ones, you know? Uh, off camera, off camera, but also on camera. I like to, like, Pacer, you need to be on the camera more. She's a little camera shy, I think. But anyway, I digress. Comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos on this channel, especially as we move into uh, the colder seasons. Oh, you see that? You saw that, right? She gets, she wants attention when she I get distracted. But comment below your experience on social media, what you see, the evolution of it, how it's a double-edged sword maybe, uh, with balancing your time and energy and demands and what reality is versus ideal reality or distorted perception, so to speak. But thanks so much for all your support on here. Again, the Patreon supporters for really making this channel possible. Title sponsor, Hoka One One, keeping the dream alive. Hope you're doing well. Subscribe on here. Check out our training plan, sagerunning.com. Hope you uh, stay tuned for more. Right, we got to end this video, Pacer. Here I am.